Salesforce mobile app and our app exchange. So Salesforce, of course, you know, not everybody's gonna have their laptop everywhere they go. Some people are going to have their phone. So for that, Salesforce does offer a app and you can use a Salesforce backend to start um, customizing the app. So the app used to be called the Salesforce One. Now it's simply called the Salesforce and it's available for iPhones as well as Android. So you can download it through Google Play or you can download it through the App Store. And the App Exchange is kind of Salesforce's own little app store. So of course there are certain things that Salesforce can do out of the box. There's a lot of things actually Salesforce can do. But there are certain things that Salesforce need uh, help with. So what a lot of companies are doing now, um, when they create their app, they make sure that it works with Salesforce. An example of that is Yesware. So what Yesware does is an email tracking tool. So you, if you send an email through your Google or through your Gmail or even your Outlook, what Yesware would do is track to see if that email has been opened. Um, the reason for that is you know, to help uh, salespeople have caller call faster and to more chances of having conversation with their prospects. So we're gonna take a look at both the mobile and um, app exchange. You don't need to know so in depth um, both these things um, in your Salesforce um, exam. They're very small coverage. You just need to know kind of when you'd use the app exchange and you need to know that the fact that Salesforce mobile is available. So you might see a question like, do you have a rep that's a field rep? Um, how would you make sure that they are, uh, you know, they're able to access Salesforce? You'll use it. You'll choose the answer called uh, Salesforce Mobile App or Salesforce One. So if you simply have your phone open, you can open your App Store or Google Play. I'm just gonna open it here on my Google um, Chrome. And if I search uh, Salesforce One, so the links are right here for Android. I got a link right here for App Store. Just uh, click on this one right here. So as you see, again, Google Play. I'll just show you a quick video to see what it looks like, because of course I can't show you my phone. So it's pretty, uh, it looks like lightning. And it's pretty um, simple. The, um, the navigation is very same. The look and feel is very same. It's just obviously on a mobile. So that's that. And of course, you have the same thing for um, the App Store as well, right? And you got, you know, the App Store just kind of looks different in the sense of their uh, look and feel. And if you go back to Google, or if you open up a Google Chrome, and just look at Salesforce. App Exchange. Um, clearly, I spelled it incorrectly. So, click on the right spelling here. Can you click on here? So, you have all these apps available in Salesforce. You can also find consulting firms if your company is looking for Salesforce experts to come in and help. Um, you know, you have all the resources available. You can, you know, search by type or you can search by collection. So there's so many apps here that are available, not just for, as an add-on for your CRM, but even for yourself. If you, if you notice, there's a lot of, uh, you know, tools for yourself as admins. Um, you know, if you have a sandbox, like a developer that we created, you're more than welcome to download some of these apps. And some of them actually have a, um, what we call the trial version. You can download them and see how they work, which is always um, which is always wonderful. For more details, check the link in the description. Learn with Wits Labs. Success certified.